Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to take just a quick second to share with you my top three Maligator Mom must-haves. First on my list is Tactipup.com. Now these are the collars that you see my dogs wearing in all my videos, and I personally prefer the two inch width. You can get them with their name embroidered on them, and I always have them add a handle. These collars are made with a cobra buckle and all metal hardware. They are incredibly durable and they are made right here in the USA. So if you're interested, check out tactipup.com and use my code MALLIGATORMOM to save 10%. And number two, everybody wants to know, what do you feed your dogs? Well, this is it. I feed my dogs Munster Milling. Now this is a customizable kibble, so you can actually go onto their website and select additives that they will mix fresh into your bag. It's absolutely phenomenal. I add things like bacon fat, salmon oil, probiotic, and freeze-dried elk. If you're interested, use my code MALLIGATORMOM and you will save 55% off your first custom bag. And number three, if you are interested in online dog training videos, you definitely need to check out robertcabral.com. I have consumed a lot of online dog training videos and Robert is by far the best. Head over to robertcabral.com, use code MALLIGATORMOM. Not so far, just like from here up. Okay, all right, ready? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Maligator Mom, and I am here with Crisis, and we are actually going to be hitting the town with her today. I want to go get her out in public, introduce her to some new pictures. I have not taken her downtown Nashville yet, so I think that that's something that is gonna be good for her uh, to be exposed to today, get some great socialization time in there. And um, it's just one of those things that you gotta do with your dogs. You know, when you're managing multiple dogs, I think that it's really important that we remember that they need one-on-one -on -one time with us and to make that time, to set aside the time to get out with them one-on-one -on -one and keep, you know, building that relationship with them. It's really important that they're not always operating just as a pack, but that they understand that they have a very special and engaging relationship with you as well. So if you're interested in hanging out with us today, stay tuned. As you watch this video, try to pay close attention to all the different environmentals that Crisis was exposed to this day. From different walking surfaces to changes in elevation, children, bicyclists, other dogs, people on electric scooters. Just take the time to really notice each frame of this video and think about how showing your puppy this wide variety of pictures not only helps build their confidence, but makes them comfortable in many different environments, which is the true definition of socializing your dog. One thing you should also notice in this video is that you won't see me introducing her to other dogs or letting other dogs approach her. That is not what socializing your puppy means. This video is a textbook example of how I go about socializing my puppy, and there are no dog parks in sight.
notice that I took the time to stop and sit down with Crisis and one of the more challenging surfaces, which was an elevated metal grate floor. And this was three stories off the ground overlooking the water. Now I noticed a very slight hesitation when I asked her to walk on it initially. So before we left, I took the time to show her that not only is she capable of walking across this surface, but we can also sit down and achieve a level of calm in an area that only moments before she was unsure about. Sometimes when we head out to work on environmentals and socialization with our dogs, we forget that this means teaching them to be still. It's not just about walking your dog through a crowd, but can you relax your dog's state of mind in the midst of all that's going on around you? So next time you're out running around with your dog, find a spot to sit and just chill out with them for a few. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with Crisis and I and um, you know, as you saw from the video, I, I'm really happy with this. I think she did great. This is actually her first time downtown. It's not her first time out and about, but it is her first time downtown where there's just all kinds of um, new environmentals that she has not seen yet. So for example, today when we were walking around, I counted eight different tactile surfaces that she had walked across just in this, you know, hour experience that I brought her down here. And those things are really, really important. And lots of times um, that stuff gets overlooked when you don't get out and socialize your dog and introduce them to new pictures. Something as simple as slippery floors or a graded floor or tile floors can really um, mess with your dog if they've never seen that before. So getting out here today, like I said, I found eight different surfaces that she walked across. We went up three flights of stairs across a bridge. Um, great big barges were honking and going across the water. We saw kids, we saw adults, we saw ducks in the water. Um, just a great day of socialization and exposure. So I highly encourage you to get out there with your pup. And as always, make sure that you please like and subscribe and leave a comment below and uh, we will see you same time next week.